Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Wow. How are you guys doing? YouTube, how are you? YouTube, how are you? Mike comms, Mike comms, check. Mike comms, check. Checking in, checking in. Um, today is February 27th, Monday. Um, hello, how are you? Um, you know, as I again still try and figure out what I'm trying to do with this conversation or what this conversation is going to be about daily, uh, I just keep reverting back to some of the small things I've done in my life. Um, and one of the issues I had um, in college, especially, was my uh, need to fit in, which caused unnecessary anxiety. And um, that need to fit in or want to fit in um, void, uh, I didn't have when I was younger. When I was a child or growing up, um, I typically was a good kid, was able to um, handle my own. Um, but then at some point in time, I got to college and I thought all that had to change. So I had to be the cool kid in class and stuff like that and take care of... Um, uh, be a, a misfit that stood out um, and I realized that that was a uh, misjudgment on my own character um, and it honestly started again at ASU 2016-2017 uh, my personality for those that know me a little bit uh, is definitely outgoing uh, definitely one to help others um, I'm, I'm very comfortable sitting and listening to people. I know you hear the cars flying back behind. I don't know, this might be the best spot to be if you guys can actually hear me or not. But uh, I, uh, my years at ASU, I definitely try to fit in and do things a little bit differently um, out of my social norm, out of my regular day-to-day uh, -day operations. And that led me to um, some very deep anxiety issues. Um, so far so, I picked up the... Uh, nicotine stick, um, started going out and drinking with friends um, that really weren't my friends and partying more. Um, I even got involved with um, multiple relationships uh, with women, of course. Um, and that hurt my personality so much so that when I was by myself, I questioned myself. Um, and it was a learning curve. I definitely had to uh, relearn how to get comfortable by myself to be comfortable with a group of people. And that took a long, 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 long time. Um, so much so I'm still on that journey of I don't have to necessarily be the loudest in the room or have to hold a conversation or need to know everybody in the room or make sure everybody in the room is taken care of. That's not my responsibility. And if I, without getting too biblically invested in it, I'm not Jesus. I can't save everybody. I can't be the, um, the center of attention. I don't want to be the center of attention. There's no, uh, there's no to little value in that type of situation. So, um, yeah, 2016, 2017, my uh, anxiety and stuff spiked just because of the fact that whenever I would go out, I would be so consumed of knowing everybody else, wanting to talk to everybody else, be around everybody else, and that anxiety um, uh, belittled my own knowledge and my own growth of who I am. I then um, would go on to South Carolina Aiken uh, and create new habits of isolating myself in a bad way, um, very much so in a bad way, isolating myself, locking myself in my room, being by myself, um, so much so that now that I am four years, three years removed, two years removed, three, three to two years removed from South Carolina Aiken, um, I'm now getting out and enjoying the world as it should be, um, as my Heavenly Father put it for me. But no, for those that are, are struggling with the anxiety or needing to seek approval, uh, 
seeking approval is an outward thing you're trying to wrap around seek approval wrap around wrap around instead of what I'm doing now which is just giving positive energy and then not necessarily wanting to know if it is good or bad there are certain people yes that I give out energy and I want to hear what they have to say back to me but um I now am able to continue about my day, my process, just fulfilled about what I'm doing, okay with my comments, okay with my outfits, my hair, my dressing, all the cases that no matter how uh, many people are in the room, no matter who's in the room, I don't need to display anything new or um, different from what I'm experiencing my own self. So that would be my little uh, five minute spiel about social anxiety um, I'm actually still battling the issue with social media anxiety which I realize that's not a thing I mean it, it is a thing but it's not a thing if you're not on social media so that's probably one of the real deep down issues reasons why I'm not on social media is because social media causes an unwar unwarranted anxiety of Posting, getting likes, DMing, getting a response, instead of just moving freely about the world. And I think that's my biggest new thing that I'm enjoying is not having to be on social media, um, not needing to seek approval back. There's always an answer. There's always a uh, response that can be given. And I'm always open for anybody's interpretation on how they feel about me what the case is because that's how I grow that's how anybody grows you don't you don't grow by yourself sitting in a room which I have then had to learn coming out of my room but the anxiety bug for me now has been tamed I'm enjoying it though. It's crazy. Spring training is going well. What, 2019? I got drafted to rookie ball. 2020, 2021, Canapolis. Anxiety riddled there. Oh my gosh, there's a lizard. Okay, I'm afraid of a couple of things. I'm afraid of reptiles, lizards, frogs, snakes. I mean, that whole category of things. And there's a big boy over there. Florida's known for them, so I'm just my tensions over there 19 rookie ball nothing 21 canapolis anxiety riddle first time being away on my own own playing baseball in a different light um anxiety riddle 2022 um stuck and extended but then ended up getting out traded and now uh this 2023 year i think i've uh figured out a little bit more about myself with the help of the Nationals and this, this baseball organization. Uh, the White Sox did a good job teaching me a lot of things about myself that I didn't know. But now I get to uh, experience it and just go out and play ball um, and be who I am. Uh, but uh, yeah, my social anxiety of being on the baseball field and playing in front of people is not a thing. That's one thing that I, I enjoy looking up into the crowd, seeing fanfare, being in the bullpen, that fanfare, being in the dugout, being around coaches, coordinators, anything you can think of, signing autographs. That, that's not much of a social anxiety as much as it was afterwards, after the game. Well, who's going out? Where are we going? Where are we going, guys? And uh, really, that's not who I am. I will partake. I have partaken in those type of things. But... Now I'm coming to understand that uh, really my role, which roles change, personalities change, but currently my role is um, my own security, create a secure a sanctuary for teammates to come be around. That's not harmful, that's not deceitful, that's not... Uh, lustful um, a calm area I hear you 
Um, hopefully I don't get flagged for the music that's playing in the background. That's not my uh, thing. I might have to go, go to a quieter location. But, uh, no, this is a 10 minute video about a little bit about my social anxiety. I've had some therapists help me, have parents help me, had uh, ex-girlfriends where I had to go back and say like, yo, did I really do these type of things? And give a, a true heartfelt answer. Um, but now moving forward, I just look to help others that have that type of need or fulfillment to be like, oh, I'm the coolest in the room or I need to do this. Ah, you're doing it enough. The Lord sees your light. Those that have a good positive energy see what you're doing. And um, there's no need to do anything extraordinary or out of the ordinary to make somebody else like you. And that's something I'm learning. I'm enjoying it. I'm experiencing it. Um, but yeah, this is uh, another video. I'm signing off. I'm going to figure this all out at some point in time. Um, at some point in time, again, this is going to be more cringeworthy, more, um, more issues and stuff that are going on. But as of right now, um, I'm just taking it one day at a time. I'm taking it one day at a time, one moment at a time, uh, one bullpen at a time, uh, one game at a time. Um, and without uh, too much anxiety or hasty energy hostile energy because that's what anxiety is sometimes anxiety is just a hostile of <sighs> I always i never thought i'd be the kid with the brown paper bag that needed to breathe <laughs> when it I never thought I had to be one of those people. Um, and everybody should go through it. Everybody should have the ability to uh, take a deep breath and slow everything down. The pace that we're working at can be controlled. Um, and I look forward to uh, controlling it a little bit more and telling you a little bit more about it. Um, but yeah, I'm signing off. It's only 12 minutes. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for staying tuned. Um, oof, again, Bryce, Sam, Ingram, Alvi, Amos, Knowles, Reader, saw Reader today, um, Clark, Felders, Moore, Travis, yo, keep doing your thing, T Moore. Saw you doing your energy, dogs. Crazy. Proud of you. Christian, proud of you. Carson, Cohen, Cannon, Jaden, Jay, Boogie. Justin, congrats on the baby. The baby's finally here. Congrats. Um, Tyler. Pitching coordinators, John, Eli, Patrick, Leland. I don't know if I can say first and last name, but there, there's that. I'm just so humble, so proud of you guys. How are you? Um, so proud of you guys. You guys are doing your thing. Uh, Jayla, good job. Maya, good job. Madison, good job. Moms, friends, all you guys, dads, guys playing, guys trying to reach a new height, a new level of thinking, new level of understanding. Good job. You're doing it. I'm, I'm sitting here trying to figure it out myself. Oh, me so much. Let me take this rubber band out. See what this rubber band does. No, this rubber band don't want to come out. All right, that's cool. You guys are doing more than enough. Cabrera Weaver. Ty, magical. Bo.
You guys are special. Special in my life, so you guys are doing something special. Thank you guys. Stay on it. Ah.